I think we're all aware of this idea of equity, diversity, inclusivity. This idea of diversity really means resilience. And when we talk about diversity, what we're measuring at the cell level is the differences between the cells and how they respond to an input. You know, unique to this center, the KBI, and, and the work that we do here, we have a, actually have access to the human brain. And so we started this exploration about uh, diversity in brain cells from patients with epilepsy. And we had the simple idea is that in regions of the brain that generate seizures, that those cells are gonna look more like one another. They're gonna be less diverse. So using very sophisticated electrical recordings, we're actually able to show that in the area generating seizures, those cells became more like one another. What we saw in epilepsy or what we saw as something that protected the brain against epilepsy could be protective against all sorts of other stuff. We looked at what we sort of term in the paper insults to the brain, but uh, we just used that in a way to sort of use one term for a number of things that we studied that could make the brain unstable. When populations of cells are different from one another, they protect from a whole host of insults. Beyond the fancy math, we think there's very practical implications of the work that we've done. Autism, for example, is a great example. Um, schizophrenia, for example, depression, are all states that are of the brain that are marked by too much connectivity, too much synchronous activity in the brain. And we think that diversity is protective and the loss of it facilitates pathology in the brain. This idea of diversity as a general design principle of the brain is protective against a whole host of neuropsychiatric conditions. We believe that this diversity is helping us understand various conditions like epilepsy in completely different ways. Epilepsy research has been predicated on one specific idea for more than 50 years, and now we present an idea that is completely different from it, which is going to allow us to explore new mechanisms as they relate both to epilepsy and other conditions.